Hey kid, are you looking to do activities in Destiny 2, Borderlands 3, Valorant, Sea of Thieves, or Fortnite? Look no further. My name's Dan Finity, and today we're covering the LFG site, the 100.io. First things first, let's talk about what the 100.io is. It is a looking for group website in which you, a person who likes to play video games on the internet, gets paired with 99 other individuals who like to play video games on the internet. Based on your preferences, it groups you all together, and then you go on your merry way and play games, you know, just to complete activities or create friendships down the line. All you need to do to sign up for the site is have an active email address or a Discord account. If you don't have a Discord account, you might want to get on that. Crossplay is coming to more games now than ever. Once you're in your assigned group of 100 people, you can then join the public LFG. To join a game, you just click Join Game next to the activity. You can either join outright or you can join as a reserve. If you do join a game and you don't show up, there is a social economy where you will get dinged for it and possibly passed up for other activities. So, be aware, be on time, be yourself. If you are new to the public LFG experience, you might look for games that say Beginner's Welcome in the header. You'll find that those groups are probably a little bit more accepting of all skill levels, more willing to teach, and just generally open to new friendship. I generally look for in LFG posts the words chill, because nobody likes a jerk. Um, I generally steer away from posts that say KWTD or know what to do. Those groups generally are just looking to get the activity done, which is fine. That is your prerogative. I think it's also important to note here that you do not have to take abuse from strangers. You can bail out at any time if a situation turns toxic. Also, be honest about your skill level and activities. If you need to ask questions, go right ahead. Nobody knows your experience level except for you, and that can lead to frustration if you're not entirely open. The next step we're gonna go through is creating a game. In your group that you've been assigned to, or any group that you join afterward, there should be a schedule a game button that you'll click through and it'll take you to this page. You can choose the game that you would like to take part in, what activity, and optional notes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set this up for my Sunday Raid Helps on Twitch. So, I'm saying Destiny 2, Vault of Glass, normal mode, and it's a Sunday help stream. In my optional notes, I generally try to set the tone of what I expect from my group. So, it's gonna be chill, we're gonna to try to help new people. If anybody wants to join who has done Vault of Glass previous, go ahead and hit the wait list, but we're not gonna prioritize you over beginners. Under the win section, you can either say as soon as possible, or you can click on the calendar and schedule it for a future date, much like I'm doing here. Currently, I've set this event for private, meaning that I'm going to invite my helper crew to join first before making it more public. After my friends join, I'm going to say, okay, this is a public and anybody from anywhere can join. Under the advanced tab, you'll see that I've currently set my party size for three out of the six spots in the activity. That's just kind of to block those out for my helpers who maybe haven't signed up for the 100.io. Under platform, I have it for PlayStation. You can do that for any of the platforms that are available for the game. For Destiny 2, there is a required power level option. I'm going to say 1300, but I'm not gonna kick anybody to the curb if they're a little bit under that. Under other options, that's where you can put your beginner's welcome, Sherpa requested, or headset required. I generally like to require a headset just so I can talk to you so we can communicate about the activity. I'm going to be hitting beginner's welcome because that helps my Sherpa score, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. I generally like to use my Discord for comms, so I put the link in there for easy access. That way people can hop in early and get ready before we raid. Once we update the gaming session, it should look something like this. It'll have a header with the activity, there's our description, as well as how many players are currently in the activity. All the details that I set up are off to the side and I can edit them at any time. I can also share the URL with any individual who I would like to invite. It also has this handy text chat option that I sometimes use for additional notes in case I run out of space in the optional notes section. Now let's dig into Sherpa HQ, the Sherpa badge, and what that means for you as a player. A Sherpa in many games means that you are an expert at certain activities and have helped other people through those activities in the game. The 100.io actually rewards you for being a Sherpa, so if you click into the Sherpa badge here, and we're gonna hit learn more. It'll show you the Sherpa program beta page. Currently, I'm at rank two, and as the bar says, I have helped 
28 people with either Sherpa requested games or beginner's welcome games. Once I hit 100 of those, I have lifetime supporter perks. When you find the confidence to help other people in that community to get activities done, you can come to this page, you can visit Rookie HQ, and it opens up all the games that are currently either beginner's welcome or Sherpa requested. By joining those, that increases your score and helps other people down the line. I hope you find this video useful if you're getting into LFG sites. Um, the 100.io was the first LFG site that I really ever used, and it's kind of my, like, labor of love for them <laughs> to kind of shine a light on it. I think they have a really good community over there. As with any public LFGs, you can have bad experiences, but most of my experiences on the site have been quite fruitful and have led to serious friendships. I've, been, I've also been very lucky to have a community grow up around me and my Twitch channel, which I will leave links in the description for the 100.io community, the current meta, as well as for the Discord down below. This is my first YouTube video, so if I seem nervous, I am. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff, and fill the comments section with your stories of LFG experiences. I hope this finds you well and that you find what you're grinding for.